Meeker, here we come. Locked and loaded, got the trailer full of stuff. Three snowmobiles, we're gonna be coming back with four. Yep. Roads look to be good, we got about a seven and a half hour drive. And here we go. Stopping for fuel here in Pinedale, Wyoming. It's been a couple years since I've been here. Both Dill and I have ridden here before a couple of times. It's a beautiful day. Roads have been good so far. Everything's gone smoothly. Five hours ago? Five. It's not too bad. There's some stuff going on here. Some pretty intense mounts too. The taxidermy is off the charts. Look at this view. Sadly, uh, spring came a little early and we're not gonna be able to ride sleds from here. Typically, you can ride sleds from here. So this is pretty sick. This is super sweet. I want this building exactly as a shop house. And this is perfect for sledders, hunters, any outdoor recreation enthusiast. And it's back here, man. We are back in the big country. It feels pretty cool to be this remote. Here we are, we made it, day one on the snow here in Meeker, Colorado. We're here with Justin and Shane. Shane is the owner of Paragon Snowmobile Adventures. They're gonna be showing us some of their favorite terrain here in their backyard. We've got a lot of stuff going on. Um, we're gonna be here for the next three or four days. It's gonna be warm, it's been an odd year as far as that goes, but the avalanche danger has been low in the entire state as we were just talking about, so that's good. Yeah, what do we have to expect today? We're gonna do a little exploring and see if we can find you guys some spots where you guys can get a little air time. And nice. Plant some trees, find some soft snow. That'd be fun. Awesome. Love all of that stuff. Let's get out there. Shaping out a little bit. There's a first landing that's decent. You know, probably go 30, 40 feet, hit that one, and then the next one is steep and you can go huge. So that's the plan. Well, what do you think? Just roll it a few times on the sleds to get it packed down and shaped a little bit? Yeah. Couple sins. Yep. <laughs> 
I n <laughs> gets me every time. You never say one last jump or one more time or one more line or last day. You never say last anything because it gets you every time. We got a little sideways off that big jump we were hitting earlier today. I, I knew instantly once I left the takeoff that I wasn't going to ride it out because I, I was flying it through the air at like a 45 degree angle. It felt yeah. like. We were watching from the bottom. Uh, Justin and I were, he was taking a video. And as soon as you came off the lip, your your skis were facing like the other mountain range. Yeah. In the air. And it was just like, no. <laughs> no way, dude. <laughs> I don't know what happened. I don't know if the takeoff broke down. I, I want to do some suspension adjustment um, to try and sort that out because I've had a couple of those sideways kicks the last couple of rides. Other than that, that jump was super sweet. I mean, a little bit of damage to the old face never hurt, right? We hit it one more time after that, so. Day one, coming to a close. It's in the books, man. Uh, awesome day, riding with Shane and Justin up here in Meeker. Just epic. It looks like from right here that there is no snow and like no riding, but I promise you, as soon as you crest over the top of that hill, it is sick. Yeah, we were pretty concerned coming into town last night because downtown we didn't see much snow. Even driving up the road here to the parking lot, we didn't see much. But once we got up in there, it was money. You know, spring conditions for sure. For sure, yeah, definitely. But there's still, you know, six to eight feet of snow on the ground everywhere we yeah. went. Pretty good coverage, and I think there's gonna be a lot of season here for, you know, the next couple of weeks. Definitely. It was definite spring snow below like 9,500 feet when I was kind of watching my altimeter and my gauge. But as soon as we got over 10, it was like it stayed cold enough. And in the trees on the right aspects, it was pretty soft and pretty fun to ride. Yeah, I agree. We found a nice mix of terrain, you know, trees, jumps, <laughs> um, and lots of good open, you know, hills that are really fun to ride this time of year when avalanche danger is low. A lot of good natural rollers, fun little natural jumps. It was a really good day. So really looking forward to see what else this area has to offer. Yeah, me too.